Hey, what's up, guys? It's A Tags, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom crosshairs in Fortnite with your monitor. It can work on Creative, Pubs, Arena, it doesn't matter. It can work on also any other game you choose. It's just there, it's displayed, and everything. It's just a little dot, or you can customize it yourself. Um, if you guys are new, make sure to drop a sub, it does help a lot. And let's get on to the video. All right, we are finally in the world where I can show you the differences between the crosshairs. This crosshair here is just the default one, the dot surrounded, like, surrounded by a parentheses. But if we turn on the custom crosshair and we turn off the reticle, it should just be a dot. Now this method can only be used in creative and not outside of it. But the method I'm going to be showing you guys, you guys can use outside of creative, in creative, or in any game. It just comes down to your monitor and if you guys have the option. I'm sorry if I uh, if I didn't like bring that up beforehand, but it just comes down to your monitor and if you guys do have that option. I'm going to be transferring my gameplay from my PC to my phone, so I can show you guys the steps. Alright, we are now on the phone and as you can see, I can still move around. I still have the custom crosshair on. Now to the bottom right, there should be a selection of buttons. If not, you only have the power button. But you guys can just mess around with the settings, your menus to see if you guys do have the option. But, oh yeah, I'll also leave my monitor link in the description below. But I have this button right here, and if I press it, it'll bring up two options, aim point and timer. Now, I'm not really sure what timer does, but if I click menu, which is basically my confirm button, it'll bring up a selection of crosshairs. Now, in my opinion, these first two are the best out of all the other fours. Like, it's just way more smaller, and uh, if I wanted to, like, choose a different one, I would have to click the button again. Now, as you can see, the crosshairs do change, and the crosshair in Fortnite is still there. If I just quickly turn it off... Alright, if we turn it off now, as you can see, you can see the little red dot. Now, if we scroll through our selection, it's still there, it's in the middle, it's on point. You guys can use it to your guys' advantage. I'll be showing you guys it works for anything, literally anything. You can go to the, like, your desktop or whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys can do this in console too. It doesn't really matter. It's just the monitor itself. Now, as you can see, if we do place on a wall and if we do edit it, it's, like, it's, it's perfect. Like, it's actually a good crosshair. All right, here is the crosshair out of Fortnite. As you can see, I'm no longer in Fortnite anymore. It is just the Epic Game Launcher. Now, if you guys do want to turn it off, you guys don't have to press the button that you guys uh, press to activate it. You guys can just press this button here. For me, it's S. Now, if I click on it, it'll be gone. So, I'm not really sure if this works for all monitors, but I just recently found out that it works for mine. And if it did help you guys, make sure to like it up and just show some love. Can make amends, is that too much to what? It might strip for a little too much.